guys we're back on small scale group build and like I told you before we're having an issue with the wheels and tires and mounting them to the body so let's just go over exactly what that entails and I'll tell you where I'm having a problem the wheels are held on to the chassis in this front suspension with these small pins which are supposed to just slide right through the wheel let me make sure you guys can see this uh, right there it's the pins slide in and enter the chassis or enter the, the suspension mounts right there and there. Now, unfortunately, the pins are way too big to mount the wheels. And I have tried opening them up a little bit, but would have to open them up to the point where you destroy them to try and get these pins in. So that's not going to happen. So I figured out another way of mounting these things up. So let me show you what I did. As I have the two wheels on this side already mounted, what I'm doing is I'm making pins that will insert into the suspension mount. And then it'll go about halfway up through the wheel. I can't have it come all the way up through the wheel. Because I need... If you can see the... Dome on top of the pin. That's the actual hub cap on the wheel. So that has to go in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my pins. Cut down the kit pins. So that they insert into the wheel and we should have, be able to mount our wheel pretty easily. So what I'm using to make my pins are these aluminum rods that you can pick up at any hobby shop. Insert them into the axle and make them just long enough to grab the wheel Not so long that they go all the way through the wheel, but just enough that they go about halfway into the wheel, which will allow us to glue everything in securely and still give us enough room to insert the upper portion of the pin or the head of the pin right onto the hub there and to have our little hub cap. So first thing I got to do is to make the pins. Here we have our pin inserted into the axle. Let's see if we can show you guys right there. And then we're just going to mount the wheel. Whoops. If we don't drop it. We're going to mount the wheel to the pin there. And glue everything down and we should be good to go. And there you go guys, now we have our wheels mounted. Little special procedure we had to do just to mount these wheels, but they're on and uh, that worked out pretty good. Now the only thing I have to do is make sure I get these pins.
cut down and installed into the wheels. So that we install the head of the pins onto the hubs. And our super glue looks like it's setting up already. Okay guys, we're almost at the finish line. Just a couple more things to go. After that introduction there, we now have the small-scale group build for 2023 completed. The Mercedes-Benz, well, the 1928 Mercedes-Benz SSK, now known as the 1928 Mercedes Chromes SSK. As you can see, I've completely chromed out the entire body. Or as close to chrome as I can get. Um, in keeping with what I did last year on the small scale group build with the chrome vet. Now we have the Mercedes Chromes SSK. And this is 143rd scale. So even though it looks kind of big on the screen here. Um, if you look at my hand. That's how big the thing is. It's a. Uh, teeny tiny 143rd scale smaller than I was really planning on getting into but if you saw the rest of this series you'll see why I picked it it's actually a very cool little kit um, you can see the build up in this series it actually builds up very nicely oh I see I'm gonna have to do a little bit of touch up on the running boards there but that's okay that's just a simple little touch up I've added a bunch of details to it just to make it a little more interesting of a build and give myself make my life a little harder than it really needs to be and i've added a couple more details even after the intro video i did uh whereas the the tail the headlights now have a yellow tint to them and from what i saw on these older lights they did have a bit of a yellow tint so i added that just to put a little more splash of color on it I also added the hood strap that holds the hood in place that I did with a bit of Tamiya tape. I think it's the one millimeter Tamiya tape. Just colored it black and laid it right across the hood. Boom, instant hood strap. The exhaust, as you may have noted now, has changed from the original exhaust, which I had here to now a copper colored exhaust because I just wanted to put a little bit of a splash of color in certain areas of the car. I mean, we have the in colors on the interior, but the body was just basically all chrome other than the running boards. So I wanted to just add a little splash of color, something that uh, just stands out. And so the exhaust was a perfect place to add just another metallic tone, which is why we have the, what color that I use on that? I think that was, Tamiya Copper, I think is what it was, that I sprayed on there. 
which came out pretty nice. Let's take a look at the back here. Here we have the, you can see the spare tire mounted on the rear of the car. All the wheels mounted. I mean, the, it's just a neat looking little model. It's an interesting little build also as it's engineered so that every part just kind of layers on top of the other. And it uh, doesn't matter where you start, which is probably why the instructions don't have a step-by-step -step, uh, build process. Just basically shows you how the entire car, how it goes together. Because it really doesn't matter where you start on this car. Um, everything just kind of leads to something else. And it all just kind of, they all just kind of build upon each other, all the different parts. It's really interesting. I really kind of like this build. I found it a very interesting build. And uh, I may look into getting a few more of these old little Entex pocket builds. Um, it really is a fun little car. And let me show you some of the details that I've added to this. Let's see if we can put a little light on it. We have the interior, which now has all the gauges. Well, not all the gauges, but, um, you know, I did what I could with some small photo etch bits, as I explained in the uh, build series. The dashboard is now a wood tone dash. Whoops, I hit the camera. The steering wheel, a wood tone steering wheel. The There is carpeting in the car as it has the embossing powder for the carpeting. It now has, I don't know if you guys can see it there. Let's see. We have our gas clutch and brake pedal. We have a shifter. Basically all the, in the interior is completely built up. And all of the instruments have been added. Let's give you a little better look there. Chrome is done with the all clad chrome. I mean, not the all clad chrome, all clad aircraft aluminum, which I think looks even better than their chrome. And how reflective it is depends on uh, how you lay it down. But as you can see here, it gives a really nice metallic look to it, to the, to the car. I mean, it just looks almost like it's made out of aluminum uh, or, or stamped metal, you know, kind of like the real thing and I really love the way that looks and I'm really looking forward to playing with that a quite a bit more and the copper on the exhaust just really offsets and breaks up the all of the chrome then you see the red interior it just really just all comes together nicely I think so um that's it guys this is the 2023 small scale group build thanks bg thanks sean for hosting this this was a lot of fun again and i really enjoyed it and uh got me to work on something that's a little bit out of my comfort zone but wound up being a lot of fun so if you guys can find these little Entech kits i you know recommend picking one up and giving it a shot it's not the, the most detailed it's not the most difficult oh wait a minute i forgot all the other details i added to the undercarriage you can see here i added a oil pan i added the uh i dressed up the transmission a little bit and i added a rear differential and a drive shaft as this car didn't have a oil pan that looked like anything i thought i would like to look at so i figured hey let me just play with that a little bit to the chrome, I mean, to the uh, copper exhaust, I add a little bit of Tamiya blue weathering powder, burnt blue, just to give it a little bit of a heat stain treatment. And um, really just came together nicely. The gas tank, I added the side panels. I don't think you can really see it there. There you go. As it was just an open hole there that you could see right through to the side of the car. So now the gas tank has its side walls. And uh, everything else is already pretty much covered in the video. 
I also painted the gas tank in a slightly different tone along with the oil pan just so that it would stand out as something different other than the all chrome that's on the car. So there we go guys. The end of another great small scale group build. Uh, really glad to have been part of it. Can't wait to see what all the rest of you guys are doing. And uh, got to see what I come up with for next year. So that's it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.